Good day. Welcome to Practical Research 2 class. I am Miss Jenny VG Arimbuyutan, but you may call me Miss A. This video lesson provides you assistance in accomplishing the task in your learning modules. Today's session leads you through the process of understanding concepts of quantitative research. This leads you through the basic elements of research which are essential for good research practices. Also, this introduces the nature of inquiry in research and presents the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research. So what are you waiting for? Unlock your imagination and creativity. Open your eyes and look at the things around you. Remember that you can change the world by your own simple discovery. At the end of the session, you are expected to Identify the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research. Value the contributions of strengths and weaknesses of a quantitative research in improving a research paper. And discuss the things that you need to do to improve your quantitative research despite its weaknesses. Before we proceed to our discussion, let me ask you these questions. Are you good at drawing? How about at cooking? Do you know how to play basketball? I'm glad to know that you're good at doing these activities. But if you're not good at this, that's fine because I believe that you're good at something that's not presented on the slide. Well, just like us, quantitative research has its own strengths and weaknesses. Let us start with the strengths of quantitative research. Number one, the respondent's identity can be anonymous. This means that when the researcher gives questionnaires to the respondents, it is not necessarily needed that the respondents will provide their name. Most of the time, writing the name and other personal data about them is optional. Here is an example of a survey questionnaire which does not require the respondents to provide their name. Number 2. Quantitative research provides consistent or unbiased data because it is objective. This is the most reliable research and the valid way of concluding results, giving way to a new hypothesis or to disproving it. If the research is properly designed, it filters out external factors. Since it provides numerical data, it can't be easily misinterpreted. Here is an example of table which provides numerical data. Number 3. Quantitative research uses more structured research instruments. As what we have discussed in the previous session, quantitative research uses standardized instruments that ensures the accuracy, reliability, and validity of data. Number 4. The numerical data can be analyzed in a quick and easy way. By employing statistically valid random models, Findings can be generalized to the population about which information is necessary. Number 5. Quantitative studies are replicable. Standardized approaches allow the study to be replicated in different areas or over time with formulation of comparable things. By doing this, it can strengthen and reinforce validity of findings, eliminating the possibility of unreliable conclusions. Let us now discuss the weaknesses of quantitative research. Number 1. Quantitative research requires a large number of respondents. It is assumed that the larger the sample is, the more statistically accurate the findings are. However, on the side of the researcher, having a large number of sample size is quite difficult because it is costly to provide questionnaires. Number 2. It is costly. Since there are more respondents compared to qualitative research, the expenses will be greater in reaching out to these people and in reproducing questionnaires. Number 3. Other data are ignored. The information is a contextual factor to help interpret the results or to explain variations are usually ignored. It does not consider the distinct capacity of the respondents to share and elaborate further information unlike that of qualitative research.
Number 4. Much information is difficult to gather using structured research instruments. An example for this is on sensitive issues like premarital sex, domestic violence, and the likes. Number 5. If not done seriously and correctly, data from questionnaires may be incomplete or inaccurate. Researchers must be on lookout on respondents who are just guessing in answering the instrument. So those are the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research. Let me end this session with a quotation from Susan Gale. Sometimes, you don't realize your own strength until you come face to face with your greatest weaknesses. So always remember that both our strengths and weaknesses help us develop ourselves. We should not consider our weaknesses as our failures. Instead, let us use them to become a better person. How about you? As a quantitative researcher, how are you going to use these weaknesses of quantitative research to improve your paper? Comment your answers below. That's the end of our session. Thank you for listening. Until next time.